it also um, the video also demonstrates um, just kind of how the CT flies um, life cycle is influenced by blood because you know usually you associate insects with you know having multiple offspring at one time um, and not really taking care of them because usually that kind of um, I don't know nurturing is safe for like higher um, animals like mammals um, but it's able to do this because it takes in so much blood and that's also a problem because then it spreads disease. Um, and here's just another image of a CT fly. And um, here's just the anatomy of the, of the CT fly. Um, just here's a larva. Here's a larva and um, the proboscis is right here. And yeah, it's just and then here's kind of the um, how the CT fly infects um, individuals with Japanosoma parasites. Um, it penetrates the skin and then as it takes up its blood meal, um, the Japanosoma parasites are released and they undergo um, binary vision in the bloodstream and they're able to um, reproduce asexually through that. Um, and I think they also reproduce sexually, but, and they undergo different forms. Um, and so they're also, they're in the CT flies mid gut area and they, they're able to, okay, well here's another life cycle stage and um, once once the CT5 is infected with trypanosoma parasites again, um, they're able to um, transform in the mid gut and then work their way up to the salivary glands. And then the cycle is repeated once the CT5 um, bites another person. And then here's just a picture of some people suffering from African sleeping sickness. Um, obviously, it doesn't look that good. Um, because they are really tired and this disease has to be combated in the beginning stages. Um, and the initial symptoms are kind of, they kind of resemble um, like flu-like symptoms where you have um, kind of like achiness and headaches and just like kind of overall pain and fever. Um, and so it's kind of hard to detect. And then after a period of time, <coughs> the parasites cross the blood-brain barrier and um, that's the second stage. And that gets really nasty because the individuals, they undergo hallucinations and um, changes in behavior. And then eventually, um, untreated uh, trypanosomiasis leads to coma and death. And um, oh, that's just another cow um, suffering from the animal version. Uh, which is, has basically the same symptoms. Um, and here's a woman receiving treatment for transmiasis, and that's another part of the problem of the disease, is that yes, it can be treated, but um, it's really difficult and hard to um, combat it, especially in the second stage, um, when the drugs used in the second stage um, can often result in death as well. Um, and so there are different drugs available, and um, obviously they're still working on creating more drugs. Um, but the important thing is just to identify the disease early and then get treatment before the symptoms get worse. And the disease is kind of neglected in um, Africa since it's not. Um, it affects, I think, around like 10,000 individuals like a year, um, which is a lower number than in the past. Um, that, is, that is pretty small compared to the entire population of Africa, so the disease kind of gets neglected. And um, people sometimes don't seek treatment, and <coughs> because the 
symptoms really get <coughs> severe in the first stage. And so that's a problem as well. And that's the end of my present. Any questions?